Good morning. You can see the clock, you know it's afternoon. Good afternoon. Maybe it is morning and I just changed the time. Who knows? Do you? Do you? This is our ice cream machine. Today I'm going to, earlier today I did the, the makeup of the base for your ice cream. Letting students know or people watching this that you want that base totally refrigerated before you pour it into this machine. So I'm not going to turn the machine on today, just going to kind of give you the basic operation. Yes, it's a three prong plug. Most of your outlets in the kitchen are a three pronger. Um, just takes a little bit more energy. Make sure you put it into the proper plug. Some of the stuff will be hardwired in our large mixer. So, you know, if you don't have the right plug, I've seen people with a three prong, three pronger go to a two prong extension cord and have this prong just sticking out. That's the ground that will cause you issues down the road. So with our ice cream machine, this is a tabletop. They have stand up ones that I'm not going to get into. This is pretty much what we're using in our kitchen. This took a while to get. Um, the other ones we had are like the home ones that you may have had where you freeze the bowl. We bought extra bowls. It got to be a pain in the butt after a while. This will do pretty much a batch, two quarts of ice cream in about 18 to 20 minutes. So only two things that come off. You got your blade, you got your screw. That's it. So if you can see this, it's square. It fits on the square on top of here, locks into place. Sure lock into place, boom. Once you lock into place, it's in there. And then we're going to take this part. Do not over tighten it. I've had students like, chef, can you get this off? Just, just like a two finger tight. So when it stops, just boom, a little pressure. It's not gonna go anywhere because it's going that direction. So this'll spin, let me show it to you. This'll spin this direction when it's on. You have two buttons. So obviously lid, lid will go on after we pour our mixture in. Your two buttons are, one is freeze option and the other is time. Make sure the other week we didn't think the machine was working right. I was looking at the plug and forgot if you don't have the, if you don't have this, the dial spun to a certain time it won't turn on. So what you're gonna do when you're operating this, freezer on, this on, turn this and it'll start operating. The only thing with this machine is they don't really give you too big of a cord. So this one generally we're using in the kitchen. So as you see it's spinning. Knobs off, it's on. You can turn it off this way. So it is actually freezing. And then like I said, that'll spin, that'll turn it off. When you're pouring the mixture in, you actually want the freezer on and you want the both of the buttons on so that it's spinning. If you pour the mixture in and then turn it on, if it was already cold, you'll start to get, it'll start to crystallize. So you want it, even before it's in there, you want this machine operational so that you get that nice smooth ice cream. One of the common mistakes people make when they're using ice cream machine, they try to freeze the ice cream till it's solid. And then they wonder why the ice cream is a bit inferior. With this, if you've decorated cakes or use buttercream, like basic icing, that's the consistency of one of your ice cream base. So it'll look semi-frozen, but still like spreadable or pourable. And then what you would do, you would take it out and freeze it in, freeze it in the freezer. It's called ripening your ice cream. So if you would do it solid here, you're, you're gonna have a denser ice cream. Like I said, have more of like, if you've ever had freezer burn ice cream where you could like feel the crystals on your mouth, it's not that smooth, silky texture. So it's gonna look semi-melted when, you, when you're finished. So that's when we get in here and we work with it, I'll show you that. that, that takes a little to work with. When you're done, obviously, you could take these parts out. We are not gonna ever take these parts to the dish machine. 
anytime these three parts go to the dish machine, it takes me weeks to find them. So you'll take those parts out, run them under, you could take them to the three compartment sink, sanitize them, always bring it back, make sure you're sanitizing inside of this because we're using milk and dairy products, so you got to be especially careful with that. Once that's dry and you run your stuff through, you're going to take your parts, put everything back on. Like I said, make sure it's air dried. You don't want to wipe the tail because it's sanitized. You let it air dry. Um, most of the times, we'll leave the lid set, set over the side. So if there is any residual sanitizer or water in there, it'll dry out. And that's the operation of your ice cream machine. So today we learned the base of ice cream machine and we learned the overall operation of an ice cream machine. So we'll add them to our video collection. I'll edit that stuff out and hopefully, hopefully we're getting it all down. Thank you. Pieces, deuces. All right, you got any questions on that?